How to host open web UI on-prem. That's all we're focusing on in this video. We're gonna get right to it. Now, first, what do you need? To install open web UI, which if you don't know, is a self-hosted open source interface for whatever AI you wanna host. Think of it like ChatGPT, but you call the shots. And it is crazy powerful. Now to install, Open Web UI on-prem, you're gonna need one very important thing and that's Linux. Because this will be a server, a web server, that when you have it running, you'll access it through your web browser. Now Linux can come in many forms. You can have it on your Windows PC, which actually I'll show you that right now. But Windows will be running WSL or the Windows subsystem for Linux. You could be using a Mac. You can run it on your Mac and you can run it on Linux. And this can really be anything. It could be a Raspberry Pi, just something super lightweight because this is not crazy. But keep this in mind. I'm showing you how to install Open Web UI, just the web interface. The web interface itself will not contain AI. You'll have to connect AI into it. Normally, if you wanna run everything on-prem, that will come in the form of Olama. Olama is a great way to run local AI models, and you can use them in a very chat GPT-like interface inside Open Web UI. Another one that I am very excited about is hooking up chat GPT, cloud-based models, also Claude or Grok or Gemini. You can plug those in, but they won't come baked in. Let's get this set up right now. Here in Windows land, I'm gonna launch my Ubuntu WSL instance. Just make sure you have a Linux terminal launched or Mac. And we're gonna be using my favorite tool to install and launch any kind of fun project, and that's Docker. That will be a prerequisite. Docker and its wonderful component, Docker Compose. I'm not gonna show you how to install it here, but you can see this video right here for how to install it, or over here. First thing we'll do is make a new directory, mkdir, and we'll name it. We'll call it something super original, like Open Web UI. And then we'll jump into that directory, cd open web UI. Inside this directory, we'll create a new file using our favorite text editor in Linux. Everyone agrees, nano, and then we'll name our file docker-compose.yml, it's a YAML file. Hit enter, blank canvas. We're gonna paste some config real quick. I'll have the config below. It's gonna look just like this. What this is doing is describing a Docker container that we're about to launch. It's pulling the image open web UI from open web UI stuff. It's also gonna be mapping a volume so that your data your configuration stays consistent even when your container goes away. And then finally, we're mapping some ports. Open Web UI by default will use port 8080. We're gonna map that to 3000. So we'll actually use that to access it when we're all finished and said and done. And let me say it again. This is only the web interface. It itself does not contain any AI models. Just wanna make sure that's clear. I don't want to, to have you with high expectations. Anyways, we'll hit Control X, Y, enter to save, file is saved. Now, with one command, we'll have this bad boy up and running. Docker, compose, up, dash, D, just like this, hit enter, and it's building, it's done. <laughs> that was so fast. And I have a problem because my port is already allocated. What's running that port? <laughs> Wait, <laughs> I, already, I already have Open Web UI installed. Let me stop that. All right, I'm gonna try mine once more. Okay, so now if I type in Docker PS, there it is running, and all I have to do is launch my web browser and go out to localhost, port 3000. And there's my open web UI interface. From here, I'll create an account and I'm in. Keeping in mind, no models yet. If you wanna add some models, you go to the top right, click on settings, admin settings, go to connections, and here you can add whatever you want. Now, what do you mean whatever you want? I've got a video right here where I walk you through how to add whatever model your mind can come up with. Open AI, Claude, Gemini, Grok. Use all the AI, the latest and greatest, right here. Oh, and also you can add Olama here too. So if you have an Olama server, which I do, I've got one running on another server. And now I've got some options. For real, that's all I got. Catch you guys next time. Oh, don't forget to subscribe. This is my second channel. If you're not subscribed, you're crazy.